the invention of the technology to record music defined the music of the 20th century. It all wanted to be recorded. It all wanted to be out there and sold. And that narrowed what music could be. We're entering a period where time, place, and occasion are gonna be far more important elements of, of what music, how music is made, and how we jointly experience it. As people are able to now sort of download freely all the, uh, the music that an artist has produced, it doesn't really necessarily identify you as a fan. You know, because the guy next door has also downloaded it, it didn't cost anything. Therefore, you're not really identifying yourself as a fan of the act. But to go and see them live is a commitment which identifies you as more of a fan. And so I think that the live side has probably benefited from the fact that it gives the true fan the opportunity to buy into the act and show that they are committed. Because, you know, like I say, it's part of a, what's known as, as a person's self. Perhaps the experience is valued more. The, experi the, the actual experience of, of seeing, of seeing a one-off, of seeing a, a situation where which happens only that night. Um, because, because recorded music feels cheaper now because you can get a track for 79 pence and you don't really need to buy the whole album. You can just buy the track that you really like. I think the live show is what's going to keep music dangerous. Um, no one's going to get surprised by an MP3. No one's going to get surprised by a record. They're, they're always coming. You know, you're not getting excited to wait in line on a Tuesday release day to go buy your favorite record. That record's going to show up one day, and you're going to play it. You know, but a live show. Who knows what's gonna happen? Anything can happen, you know? And it happens once. When you have a CD or MP3, you have a very flat bit of music, it's like that. And then when you have it live, it's like that. Do you know what I'm saying? And I, I think people miss that, miss being able to just feel like they're, you know, they're, they're, they can escape inside the music. People say there is no magic, but you know, what is, you know that feeling when you see somebody live and you totally like, you go out of your mind, you connect and you treasure that memory and you have, you know, I have certain memories to like Leonard Cohen live and I will treasure them forever because like what happened, you know, I got like goosebumps. We humans, we evolve, but we are finally animals. So we like to dance and interact and and, and have fun or, or learn or, you know, that's what we are possessed about. It's great for like the music environment and for kids and for people to just be able to like experience music for real. I love that. I love that, that that's a part of the music industry again, or at least, you know, a part of my world again, which it wasn't really when I was a kid, I was more a club kid. And like live music was more f like for rockers. I think a lot of musicians are now increasingly compelled to figure out how to stand on stage and connect with an audience. Whereas before, the connection was playing the one hit single that the audience might have heard on the radio, and now the connection has to be a lot more genuine, and I think a lot more human, in a way. You can listen to LCD Sound System record, and then you see LCD Sound System, and there's nothing 
comparable to see them live. It's, it's a completely different experience on how the artist approaches the audience, being the audience one or two people or 15,000 people.